Is there a generational thing going on here? Is Black Lives Matter like a challenge to more established civil rights organizations like NAACP? I mean, do they complement each other? Uh, how do they interplay? Is there room for both of them? <laughs> it is a challenge to the history of the way movements have been formed in the past. It is to say that um, past movements uh, on the basis of a certain vision of what liberation looks like uh, or certain tactics that have been taken have been exclusionary. Uh, they have uh, established a very masculinist narrative around what racial justice is supposed to mean, uh, that they have left out people who uh, have been deemed uh, not respectable. Uh, they've, been, they've left out people who do not uh, embody the identity of cisgender or heterosexual black men, uh, that they have been focused on sort of the uh, a pathway to middle class or the middle class problems of, of black America. Uh, and to say that we reject that, we reject the way that it's been done so far. And we want to include the most marginalized among us. We want to move those folks from the margins to the center as uh, you know, Bell Hooks laid out for us, right? Uh, that that we're, we're saying uh, we want to form an inclusive movement that is based on democratic principles uh, and, and, and ensure that we're fighting for liberation for all people in a way that we haven't seen or didn't learn about in past movements. And, and so there is a generational shift there. I don't think that that means, though, that uh, they have to butt heads yeah. with older civ uh, civil rights organizations, but sometimes it does mean that it happens. You know, yes, I think that there is some tension there, um, but I also think that, you know, this idea of everybody having a voice is very much about this generation and also very much about the huge revolution in communication. I mean, right. with the NAACP before, I mean, even if you said everybody's welcome, you wouldn't have a million exactly. people able to say yes, you know, and that, that's yeah. how you know. So I think that's another aspect. So I think that the, the two main differences between uh, black liberation movements of, of the past and of the future is one, communication. So social media obviously changed the landscape of that. Um, and two, it's that respectability thing that you talked yeah. about. Mm -hmm. And so they're calling people out on it. Um, but I think that what we need to realize is that Black Lives Matter often, often identifies as being an intergenerational movement. Yeah. So they're not excluding anybody. Mm -hmm. So much of how you black people have been taught is like I need to change myself, I need to yeah. transform myself in order mm. to be accepted by society. And Black Lives Matter is saying, no, don't do that. Be yourself. Yes. Embrace your full self. Embrace your fullness. Embrace the fact that you're queer. Embrace the fact that you're black. Embrace the fact that you have curly hair or you wear your hair straight or whatever you choose to do. Mm -hmm. Do not define yourself by white supremacy and try to hold yourself back. Mm -hmm. To try to tap yourself, tap your blackness down. And that's very different from how our parents' generation came up and very different from how traditional civil rights organizations kind of looked at things where it was like, we want you to show up in your Sunday best at the protests. Mm -hmm. They're very similar. So we talk about, we, I don't know if anyone watched the Black Panther uh, documentary on PBS or if you know anything about the Pl Black Panthers, which I'm sure you do, there's, there are similarities between these movements. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And yes. you know, it would not be very smart for us not to look back on those and, and take some of that knowledge and, and look at what happened and how they were um, infiltrated to see how we should move forward yeah. I mean, this in this is a, current movement. Like you're saying, this sort of intergenerational thing, like you've talked to a lot of the activists and organizers of today, and they will tell you that this is not a new movement per se, it's a continuation of yes. the movement that has existed since we landed here, right? right? Yeah. So it's not as if they're, 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 you, you separate them out. Uh, and you just tease out the little differences. It is, uh, it's building upon the work that has already been done. Uh, now, it is a challenge to some of that work, uh, some of the ideology that was prevailing and pervasive during, during other periods of time that people feel like failed uh, and that, that those tactics uh, were not sufficient for what a, an inclusive vision of black liberation would look like. Um, but it is not separate from that history, and I think that that's a really important point to make.